So in this video I'm going to show you the differences between Coda MIP and the original MIP. As you can see this is the original MIP, it came in two colours, either black or white. This one has got like a black and silver uh, design with um, blue accents, so you've got blue in the logo, um, he has uh, blue lights for the eyes. And there's the battery box, speaker, on off power switch, uh, you can move the arms up and down, you've got uh, lights in the eyes and lights in the chest. Uh, Coda MIP is pretty much the same, it's got exactly the same uh, mouldings except it comes in clear plastic. Uh, with uh, red accent colours, so you've got red in the logo, MIP logo, you've got a red line here, a red Wowie logo there, and red, red rubber, pinky red rubber tyres. What I like about the Coda MIP design is, is, is the clear plastic, so you can actually see through to the electronics on the inside. The only thing that isn't clear is the, the black bands around um, MIP's eyes, the, the sensor a cover and the hands are black. So yeah, there's a side view, they pretty much look the same. Back. Yeah, the side view you notice that even the wheels they went with the clear plastic. Okay, so another main difference between Coda MIP and the original MIP is the Coda MIP takes a rechargeable battery. Whilst the original MIP took four AAA batteries. Whereas if we take a look at the battery box on Coda MIP, you can see that we've got a rechargeable battery sealed into this box. And you recharge the battery by taking it out, like I've got it here, and you use the supplied uh, USB cable that comes with Coda MIP. really neat feature I think. The one big difference I've noticed between Coda MIP and the original MIP is you have to tighten the battery box in really tight in order to get the battery um, connectors here to sit firmly against the battery connectors inside the box. From, uh, I don't remember having to tighten this one up so much in order to get it to work properly whereas this one had to really um, make sure this was uh, really tightly sealed in order for um, MIP to work properly. Okay, so let's talk accessories. Um, both Coda MIP and the original MIP both come with exactly the same balance tray. Uh, these balance trays just fit in the slot below the chest lights here, and they just push down, press down like that. Let's show you the Coda MIP one, like so. Yeah, so they're pretty much exactly the same. Um, both come with these uh, foam stickers you can put on if you wish and then they just pop off like that. Simple, right. So another accessory that comes with Coda MIP are these um, giant rubber tyres. And so they're made of like this um, hard rubber and you've got these uh, clear, clear plastic rims with the red logo. And they simply just pop on. Like so. Okay, so. So now with the tyres on you can see there's a big difference now between the, the height of them of both Coda MIP and MIP. And Coda MIP leans back a bit more with the stand now. Okay, so the other uh, accessory that comes with Coda MIP is this stunt ramp. It's made of um, like a hard plastic acrylic type material. It's got this frosted and clear design on the front, which I think looks really cool with the MIP, red MIP logo. And um, yeah, underneath you've got the pivot point for it to um, balance. See it like that. Ok, 
Okay, so let's uh, switch them on and see what happens. Okay, so let's take that stand out. Okay, so when you first switch on MIP, um, his blue lights come on, his coloured chest comes on, and then he waits a few seconds and then he says the word MIP. And now he's balancing freely. So that's his IR sensor, noticing that there's an obstacle in front of him and he's backed away. And then as you probably know, you, with certain hand gestures you can get MIP to turn left or right, so whether swiped that way or swiped that way. And then if we spin the wheels, um, the, the game mode changes and the colour on his chest changes. Okay, so let's switch on code map. With Codemip, you can also change uh, with the mode by spinning the wheels. So on the back, um, we've got a, a light denoting um, the battery level. Okay, so now I'm going to try and connect both MIPS using the same app. So if you notice in here, we've got um, an icon here that changes from a single MIP to multi-MIP. And once that's gone multi-MIP mode, you can select more than one MIP. As so we take the tick box. Okay, so now it's saying update required. So let's update. Okay, so let's have a go. Let's uh, spin them around. Yeah, how cool is that? quite doing the same things at the same speed. It seems that this, uh, the original MIP is a lot more sensitive to slower positions. It's possibly because Coda MIP's got the chunky wheels on. Okay, so let's take the chunky wheels off and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so let's uh, move them both forward. Uh, that's much better. The last but most significant difference between Coda MIP and the original MIP is the ability to record sequences of actions using the new Coda MIP app. The app uses a simple block-based programming system so you can create projects and drag and drop events, logic, actions and motion blocks into a sequence that Coda MIP can then perform. Take a look at my unboxing video if you want to see more. So let me know what you think of the MIPs in the comments below and thanks for watching.